Also revealed yesterday was a new LEGO Star Wars 25th Anniversary Buildable R2-D2. I don't know, I, I was hesitant on making this video because I just do not care about the build here. I got that 2021 Buildable R2-D2 when it came out, and that was what, $230? This new one is apparently going to be $100 with 1,050 pieces in that one minifigure, and also comes out in spring. Um, so it's a three year difference, half the price, a little bit over half the price. And seeing how they downscaled this particular model, I mean, yeah, there's definitely corners cut. You can see how they use crappy stickers for those blue lines at the top there. You can see less blue on the top head. It's definitely a downgrade, even though this is three years after. However, <laughs> of course, this 25th anniversary thing, they're giving us something that has nothing in relation to R2-D2, but is like the most desirable figure, <laughs> Darth Malak. He's not a mainstream character, and he never came as a minifigure before. So I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place. So yeah, that's that's why this, this set kind of frustrates me, and I just don't want to see it. it. It would be a very boring buy for me, aside from that Darth Malak, because I have just the better version of this that came out years ago. So let me know what you think of this reveal in the comments below. Are you going to buy it? Subscribe for more LEGO news, commentary, and fun videos. I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.